This video shows the steps for registering a returning student in a Hamilton County School. Parents of currently enrolled Hamilton County School students are required to update their students' information each year. If your student is not currently enrolled in a Hamilton County School, please see the instructions elsewhere for new student registration. To begin the process, go to the Parents and Students menu on www.hcde.org and choose Registration Information. Find the section for Returning Student Registration and click on the link to the PowerSchool Parent Portal. Enter your previously created username and password to log in to the PowerSchool Parent Portal. This is different than the username and password that is used to log into the student portal. If you have trouble logging in, please contact your student's school's PowerSchool contact for help troubleshooting. Click the link on the left-hand side for returning student registration for the upcoming school year. Review the information in the introduction and click the Next button to continue. Student information. Review the student information in the first section. To change a student's name, you must present legal documentation to the main office of your student's school. Continue reviewing and entering information as required. Mother's maiden last name. Student gender. Date of birth as stated on student's birth certificate. Enrolling grade for the upcoming school year. Enrolling Zone School for the upcoming school year. Home phone number or phone number that you would like to be your main point of contact. Mailing address. Physical address of zoned residents. Check the box beneath the residence address if you need to modify the existing address or enter a new one. Guardians will not be required to upload two proofs of residence for the 2021 school year, but schools will require this information to be provided in the fall when students return to school if it is not uploaded. Check one of the boxes under the question, what is the main form of transportation your child will be taking to school? Click the Next button to continue. Additional information, place of birth. The information that follows should be taken from the student's birth certificate. Country of birth, state of birth, county of birth, and city of birth. Ethnicity. Race. Enter other information. Student primarily lives with. Is the legal parent guardian a member of the military? Is student taking English as a second language, ESOL? Is student enrolled in any special education programs? This would be students currently holding an IEP. Click the Next button to continue. Migrant Worker Survey. In the past three years, have your children moved to another city, state, and or county for the guardian to obtain work in the industry of agriculture, dairy, or fishing? Click the Next button to continue. Household Information Survey. What is your household size? Is your annual gross income above or below the amount shown? Check the box to indicate that you have answered truthfully. Click the Next button to continue. Parent Guardian Information. Parent Guardian 1. Name. Check the box if you need to edit the parent's name. Lives at student's physical address as listed on previous student page home phone or cell phone in most cases, cell phone, email address, check if no email address, employer and work phone, or phone number guardian wishes to be contacted at during the day. Parent guardian two, name, check the box if you need to edit the parent's name, lives at student's physical address, as listed on previous student page, home phone or cell phone in most cases, cell phone, email address, check if no email address, employer and work phone or phone number guardian wishes to be contacted at during the day. 
siblings. How many school-age siblings does the student have? If there are school-age siblings, then for each sibling, enter first and last name, date of birth, gender, school, grade. Click the Next button to continue. Emergency contact information. For each contact, enter the contact's first name and last name, relationship to student, phone type, and phone number. Continue entering the emergency contact information for the second and the third emergency contact. Click the Next button to continue. Student's medical information. Physician's name and phone number. Dentist's name and phone number. Insurance information. Health history, list any known allergies. Other health diagnosis. Please list a description of the diagnosis. Does the student require medication to be administered at school? If so, please list medications required for the school to keep on site for the student. Please note that the school must have a health management authorization signed by the student's physician for the school to have on file in order to administer any medications. Click the Next button to continue. Student Dismissal Contacts. Please note that you must take documentation to the school for persons who are not permitted to dismiss the student. Contact 1. First name. Last name. Relationship to student. Cell phone number. Other phone number. Would you like to add another contact? If so, answer yes. And continue with additional contacts. If there are individuals that should not be allowed to dismiss the student, list them in this section. Accompanying documentation must be on file. Click the Next button to continue. Agreements. Student Handbook. Click the link to view the school student handbook. Technology Usage Agreement. Click the link to view the HCS Responsible Use Policy. Bring Your Own Device. Click the link to view the HCS BYOD Policy. Social Media Photo Video Release. Click the link to view the form related to the next question. If you answer no, please print the form and send to your student school if you wish not to participate. Health and Vision Screening. Click the link to view the details regarding screenings. FERPA. Click the link to view the FERPA document. Attendance Policy. Click the link to view the HCS Attendance Policy. Code of Acceptable Behavior and Discipline. Click the link to view the HCS Code of Acceptable Behavior and Discipline. Click the Next button to continue. Electronic Signature. You must electronically sign and approve the registration information for Hamilton County Schools. Agree. Type your name. Enter today's date. Click the Next button to continue. Review and Submit. Please review the information that you have entered and make any necessary corrections. Please note that when you hit the Submit button, you will be able to print the registration, but you will no longer be able to change the registration or add any of the required documents to the profile. If you were unable to upload the documents, you can supply copies of the required documents to the school. Click the Submit button to send the registration information to the student's new Hamilton County School.